Pride lover, I wanted to do this video about Johnny Wacker. He was an actor who was killed May of this year. He was working a bartending shift and he walked to his vehicle and he noticed four men who had his vehicle on jacks and they were attempting to steal his catalytic converter. He confronted them and he was ultimately killed. The men who are alleged to have killed him are Florencia 13 gang members. Florencia 13 is a very dangerous gang ran by the Mexican mafia. I think like, you know, Johnny Wacker's death is a reminder of how dangerous Los Angeles can be at times. I think like a lot of people kind of like, you know, feel that downtown Los Angeles, like, you know, is a safe area, but like it could be, nothing could be further from the truth. You often see like people with storefronts who have tasers. I don't think like, you know, that's typical in other areas of the country. I think like, you know, uh, other actors who are considering moving to LA, they have to keep their safety a priority. Johnny Wacker's death should be a reminder that uh, George Gascon, who's the DA, he's prosecuting these four men. And like, you know, they don't have bail at 18 years old, which is a young age. Like, you know, I think like, you know, that highlights the fact that there needs to be more opportunities so that men aren't turning to gangs or crime as a resort. Like, you know, so people are losing their lives over something as small as uh, catalytic converters. I think like Los Angeles has a history of corruption. You could look at like, you know, former supervisors like Mark Willie Thomas, who like, you know, have been accused and charged with corruption. There's a lot of that and it's prevalent in Los Angeles. I think like if more of the A, like, you know, that was supposed to go to people who needed it, like, you know, maybe like some of these crimes, like, you know, the death of Johnny Wacker wouldn't happen. I think like, you know, uh, the police response time also like, you know, is a problem in Los Angeles where the police don't respond in a timely manner or like, you know, they won't respond at all. I think like, you know, Johnny Wacker's death could have been avoided. You know, obviously he was from a different part of the country, not realizing like, you know, that, you know, his first response could like, you know, result in his death. Like, you know, obviously like it's never like, you know, a right thing for people to steal. But like, you know, if you see people stealing, maybe it's not the best thing to confront them. And because like, you know, there are people who are desperate and will kill you over a small amount of money, especially in Los Angeles. And like the crime is very prevalent. You see like all the time, the videos of people like running into stores and running out with stuff or like, you know, uh, just like, you know, other like outrageous things like, you know, that go on in Los Angeles and that part of the country. And like as a blogger, YouTuber, I've experienced, you know, some of like uh, the dangerous element of like, you know, dealing with people because like, you know, people particularly don't like to be filmed, especially when they're doing legal activity. So like, I think like, you know, that you have to be very carefully and careful in downtown Los Angeles particularly, but like, I, I would like to see things change. And I think like that starts with, you know, electing like local officials who aren't going to steal from the community. And I think like, you know, uh, I don't know like necessarily how we would go about doing that, but like, I think like, you know, in Johnny Wacker's case, you know, it highlights a larger issue. And I like, you know, uh, hope he rests in peace. And like, I thought he was an incredible actor, like, you know, his work on like, you know, shows like General Hospital, Fresh Off the Boat, Army Wives and